Sous vide machines are sleeker, smarter, and more straightforward than ever. And Adam's here to tell us which brand is best. Was that your sous vide saunter? <laughs> you I like that. that? Okay, there are two types of sous vide machines for home use. There are water ovens, which are generally pretty big, and then there are the ones that you see right in front of you here. These are immersion circulators. Oh, I love these. Our testers have some experience with these. They also did a little preliminary testing, and they much preferred the immersion circulators because you can use them with a wide range of vessels. They're smaller, they're quick, and so that's what we focused on. There's a lineup of seven different immersion circulators. The price range was $129.99 to $274.95. That's not bad. It's actually not too bad, especially for what these things will do. Now, we put them through a battery of both pure cooking and performance tests. The cooking tests were performed in vessels of different sizes, including a four-quart saucepan, seven-and-a-quarter-quart Dutch oven, an eight-quart plastic container, and a nine-and-a-half-gallon cooler. Sous vide machines are meant to cook food to a very precise temperature, so accuracy mattered. Testers used lab calibrated temperature tracking software and thermocouples to monitor the water temperatures while food cooked and while the circulators heated an empty six quart water bath for three hours. First at 149 degrees and later at 190 degrees, which is the highest temperature a lot of these machines will reach. Testers also tracked the time it took for the machines to heat up these water baths. Now, most of them were accurate to within an average of a degree or two, which is pretty good. That is pretty good. The white one down at the end was the most accurate of all at 0.2 degrees, both temperatures over three hours. Wow. That was really impressive. <laughs> Testers also wanted to evaluate the ease of use by checking out all of the controls, setting temperatures and timers, reading displays, toggling between Fahrenheit and Celsius, noting the alerts and the alarms that the different models offered, and checking the functionality of Wi-Fi pairings and companion apps, if that was something that the models offered. Some of the machines were fairly easy to use, others were needlessly frustrating and complex to use. The most complex was this one there. One tester said that trying to get this thing going was like a logic puzzle, because if you press <laughs> buttons in the wrong order, it would send off this cascade of chirps and beeps and alarms <laughs> that you couldn't turn off. It would switch it between Fahrenheit and Celsius, or it would just turn the machine off altogether. So it's like a Mensa test. <laughs> exactly, which is not what you want from your sous vide machine. Once they got this going, this thing actually churned the water while it heated so roughly that it jostled eggs inside of the container <laughs> hard enough that when they hit the side of the container, the eggs cracked. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so testers really preferred a machine that was simple to set up, simple to use, easy to understand what was going on, and that heated the water both quickly and gently so that you're not cracking eggs in there. Right, no white caps. No white caps. Now, testers also weighed them and measured them because you want them to be reasonably small for a couple of reasons. Number one, you can use it with a wider range of pots. Number two, once it's in the vessel, it leaves you the most room for food. And number three, it's easy to store that Yeah, way. that's what I was thinking. Yeah, exactly. You can just chuck a small one right in a kitchen drawer and you're good to go. Now, when you cook in a water bath, if you don't cover it, and even sometimes when you do, if you don't cover it tightly, there's some evaporation over time, and you have to monitor the water level. All of these machines have a minimum fill and a maximum fill, and the water level has to stay between those two lines. They're usually noted somewhere on the machine. The minimum one ensures that there's enough water to heat and to circulate through the heater ports. The maximum makes sure there's not so much that it gets close to all of the electronics at the top, which you definitely don't want to do. Makes sense. Most of these had about a three and a half inch span, which is fine. That white one down at the end had a six and a half inch span that Ooh. just made it that much easier to use because you didn't have to think about refilling if the water evaporated. That one is the winner. That is the Jewel. It's $179, and testers loved it for a couple of different reasons. Number one, it was the most accurate. It has that really wide range between the maximum and the minimum fill lines. It's sleek, it's small, it heated the water quickly but gently. Now, that one you have to pair with Wi-Fi mm -hmm. and a smartphone or a tablet and the companion app. Which isn't that hard. No, it's pretty intuitive. 
it put testers off at the beginning, but the more they used it, the more they really came to appreciate the fact that you can set it up in the morning, go to work, turn it on from across town, monitor the water level, change the time and the temperature. It's mm. really, really convenient. Start your dinner on your commute. I love that. <laughs> How can you not love that? Now, if that does put you off, though, and you want one that operates both with Wi-Fi and old-style buttons, this is the Anova Precision Cooker. It's $199 so it's a little bit more, but you can use buttons if you want to. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. If you're in the market for a new immersion circulator, check out the Jewel at just $179. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later. <laughs>